That was tough right there, man. What's up, y'all? It's the kid, Fort Worth Fabian, Big Boss Fabo, back with a video, back with a David Bowie reaction to Heroes, man. Live in Berlin in 2002. So all of the videos I've done so far on David Bowie are early versions of his content and stuff he did. Um, this one's more him at a latter part of his uh, career, right? Uh, I'm interested, I'm intrigued. I like mixing up content for various artists. I did an audio version, of vi official video. Now this is a live performance. So if you have additional content or recommendations, please put them down in the comment section below, man. Peace, love, prosperity, everybody that's rocking with the channel. Support the channel. Get me to a million, man. Let's get to a million subs. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please and thank you, man. Let's hop into the reaction. David Bowie, Heroes Live, Berlin. How you doing, huh? Doing good? Excellent. You doing okay? How about you, my baby? How are you doing, gal? Big smile. Big smile for daddy. <laughs> uh, is that like the grossest thing that people say? I'll come to your daddy, baby. What is with this daddy shit? Sorry, I've been watching, been watching too much. What's that? Did you say something? Ah. I've been watching too much television. Forget about it. Forget about it. Huh? Hey, you're better off. Okay, so what's going to happen? You're still okay for time, right? Well, this was my idea. So we're going to do another couple of songs, right? Then we take a very, very short break. And then we come back and do the low album for you, if you want. You okay out there with that, low? Thank God you know it. We could have been starting. And then we'll do some more songs after that, you know. So this could, I'm not joking, this could be really long. So if you like, if you didn't make any arrangements for getting home, I've got a fairly big motor outside so I can get some of you back, yeah? You know. Like two or three. <laughs> ah, shut up, Bowie. Okay, another song. You, you can be me And I Can he say you can do me? I'll drink all the time <laughs> Cause Broke we're lovers And that is the fact Yes, we're lovers We'll keep us together We can be them Forever and ever What song is this, man? Yeah, we can be heroes Just I don't know why I'm asking what song it is It's clearly Heroes But it's a seven minute video so And he did mention multiple songs So I thought this could possibly be a song and then another song included, but obviously that would be included in the title. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, my bad. But with that being said, man, um, I'm not assuming I act like I know all this music because I don't. I'm new to the David Bowie party, man. Let me know. Keep recommending songs in the comment section below. But as far as um, like the part of his career that this song was created in, early part, later part, let me know. Because a lot of the reactions, like I've already mentioned, that I've done are older songs from, like, the 70s, stuff like that. So, yeah, man, let me know in the comment section. What you say, I say. Dolphin, like a dolphin can't swim. 
This is Berlin, baby. Berlin. Oh, nothing will drive them away. We can beat them forever and ever. So without knowing, you can kind of know that David Bowie was pretty inspirational, a big artist, a big talent, you know what I'm saying? But when reading some of his details in his biography, so he is regarded as one of the most influential musicians of the 20th century, was acclaimed by critics and musicians, particularly for his innovative work during the 1970s. Yeah. His career was marked by reinvention and visual representation with his music and stagecraft having a significant impact on popular music. Okay. See, I could get that. I could clock that from even knowing what he, that he was ahead of his time, bro. You could just tell. The stuff he was doing, that's what gets you, like, on. That's what gets you lit, bro. That's what gets you out of here. You got to do stuff different. Even if you're scared, you're afraid, you do stuff different. Approach the game different. Switch it up. Do it different. That's what's going to probably get you recognized faster and have people more intrigued about you. It's gonna be some type of mystique to you. When people don't understand you, they're more interested, bro. But you know, a lot of these artists come into the game and it's strategic. They know what they're doing. They know how to wear a certain outfit. They know how to dress up. They know how to have a certain hairstyle look. They know what pops. They know what people wanna see, man. It's calculated. And I've always felt like it's, there's an interesting thing about the superstar, like, you know what I'm saying? What y'all, you know, coexist with like the MVP or the GOAT, you know, whatever. The MVP in sports, essentially, you know, the superstar is like that same unicorn type thing to me. But it just sets apart you from people who do what you do. <laughs> there are a lot of musicians. There's not a lot of stars. You know what I'm saying? Like a superstar is a different thing. And I don't want to ramble too much, but there's certain elements that make a, a star like... Some people will always just be artists, but some people know how to put together the pieces to the puzzle. That's gonna put them in kind of a different weight class. this the david bowie band does he have a band specifically associated with him or does he just have different you know players or members let me know in the comment section below if he worked with different bands throughout the span of his career I can't remember. His story is pretty interesting, man. You know, I was looking at, obviously, um, he's from Brixton, which is interesting, man. Brixton boys, Brixton boys in the, shout out to Brixton, man. You know, but um, just a weird thing about like a part of his biography that's um, 
you mentioned is obviously his sexuality. He mentions that in the interview, he said he was always a closet heterosexual. On other occasions, he said his interest in homosexual and bisexual culture had been more of a product of the times and the situation which he found himself more so than his own feelings. But that's crazy though, right? People assume a certain thing about you and it tends to be what people wanna run with in your story. But he said he was a byproduct of that. I've seen that with artists nowadays. Sometimes it like, people can frown upon it, but sometimes it helps them. It helps their career just in publicity and people writing articles about them and the media picking it up. You know, like, that happens today still, but I was just, I just found that interesting that he said it was a byproduct of, you know, just what was going on in that moment. It was a product of the times. He stumbled, I guess he found himself in that situation. I guess people were assuming his sexuality when he wasn't even really talking about it, you know? Probably due to like a lot of the makeup, the wardrobe he wore in videos and stuff, but we died of liver cancer in a New York City apartment. So he had been diagnosed, but did not make his condition public. I never knew how he passed away, so obviously I looked into that as well, but. Wow, that's interesting. I just clocked. I mean, I, it's pretty sad that he passed away from liver cancer. But you know how many times just now, like throughout, I've done four David Bowie reactions. You know how many times he's mentioned alcohol? A lot. So I guess that was his downfall. Was he a big alcohol? Was he a big drinker? I'm sure they probably talk about that. But dude mentioned alcohol and he just said earlier, you can do that and I'll be drinking. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. David Robert Jones. Why did he call himself Bowie, though? Hmm. Let me know if you know the answer to that as well in the comment section below. Oh! Oh, yeah. That was tough right there, man. That was David Bowie, Heroes, man. That was live in Berlin from 2002, man. Let me know y'all's thoughts on that one in the comment section below. And let me know the answers to the majority of the questions I asked throughout the video. <laughs> you know, down in the comment section below, man. Keep recommending songs. I feel like I'm not even at the tip of the iceberg. You know what I'm saying? Uh, especially with the career spanning as long as his. Uh, I thought that was a great performance. I thought it was a cool, it was an awesome song. Not even, cool doesn't justify. That was a, that was a great song, man. And definitely a great performance of it. Um, yeah, man, keep recommending content. If you want to donate to the channel, please donate. $10 uh, cash app, PayPal, man. Donate and recommend a song. Check out everything else I got going down on down in the description below. Um, check out my playlist page. Um, yeah, keep recommending music, man. We're going to keep... Um, uploading a lot more music i definitely mentioned that man i'm gonna be uploading a whole lot more of music stuff you know I've, I've been doing trending stuff i've been doing like story stuff um a lot of other reactions but yeah man i'm gonna get back to a lot of the music reactions so yeah subscribe to the channel man support me we're on the way to one million man we're out of here peace